As a freshman, he worked his way to a 3.0 GPA, Mike, the highest in Marquette's starting five. And led Marquette to a Final Four appearance. With the fifth pick in the 2003 NBA Draft, the Miami Heat select Dwayne Wade from Marquette University. Tom, we were there and watched Dwayne Wade single-handedly take Marquette for the first time in 26 years back to the Final Four when they beat Kentucky in the regional final in Minneapolis. Greg, Wayne Wade in the NBA, can he make that jump smoothly? Oh, he don't have a problem making the jump. The problem is if you're Miami, where are you going to play him with Eddie Jones when you need his point guard? That's my only concern there. You know, that could be a big problem. What was your reaction when you were picked fifth by Miami? Uh, it's a dream come true. I'm uh, blessed. I know I am. Uh, I just know that hard work pays off, man. I really learned that at Marquette. What are you going to try to get better at first? Well, you know, I'm the kind of player that, you know, I need to fine-tune everything in my game. So, I'm going to work on everything. The things I was good at and the things I need to get better at. The debut of the fifth pick in the draft out of Marquette, Dwayne Wade. Here comes Wade. Off balance, but on target. The bucket is made by the rookie, his first of his NBA career. Figures. Miller's the guy that's trying to get three with 1.6. Lost one. And again! If you go in home, it's like New Orleans went home and won two games. That's what we have to do. Down two games to none, but back at home, the Heat battled back and even the series. Right now, the series is even, and we couldn't be happier. 
The Pacers won Game 5 in Indiana, then eliminated the Heat with a three-point Game 6 win in Miami. So the magical season is over for the Heat. It was still a good series, but once it was over, it was like, you know, we did, we did give it our best. It was, in some ways, unexpected how much fun that season actually turned out to be, and you knew more was in the offering. The major headline around the league tonight, the Los Angeles Lakers and Miami Heat have agreed to a trade that will send Shaquille O'Neal, one of the greatest big men of all time, to sunny South Florida. And it was clear from the start that Superman and his new sidekick would form a dynamic duo. I was looking at him and he stole the ball and he just took off. I'm like, damn, did you see that? That dude's like Flash. Ding! So we're going to call him Flash. So with Shaq manning the middle and Flash running the show, the superhero tandem took the lead by storm and the Heat raced to the best record in the East. Great one, two, inside, outside punch for Miami. The test of their new resolve was quick to arrive. In their very next game, the Heat trailed the rival Pistons by 13 in the fourth quarter. But Wayne Wade would lead the most unlikely of comebacks. Wade gets inside. Wow! You know, I got into a flow at the right time, got into a rhythm, you know, start making some shots. Wave the pump! High game again! They scored the last 15 points for the Miami Heat. He carried us that fourth quarter. He made play after play after play. He was unstoppable. The Heat will go for the win. They have not led the entire second half. Wade puts it up! With Wade scoring their last 17 points, including the game winner, the Heat had new life. And the Miami Heat with a huge from behind victory. That started. The Detroit game was, was really a watershed game. We were, you know, we were playing a team we hadn't beaten for a while, and from that point on, things began to turn for us. From behind, kept it away from Red. Here's Twain. Behind his fast walker. Doesn't he get any prettier than that? You have to have great players who will take the philosophy on their shoulder for some reason. He became uh, not only our, our go-to guy, but a, a real in incredible leader for us. Wade wants Kobe around a screen, running floater, and he'll find Shaq for the two-handed flush. He decides this one. Wade making his move. Wade drives on the pull-up past the buzzer. Oh, Wade puts it in! And the Heat with the victory here at the Garden. Another heartbreaking defeat for the Knicks. And the special talent of Dwayne Wade disappoints the crowd here in the Garden. That was very Jordan-like right there. Talks about Doug. You get Jermaine O'Neal in the game now. Now you've got more traditional matchups. And Dwayne Wade inside. What a second season for Dwayne Wade. Here's Wade with a good throw. Wade with a good throw. Seven minutes to play. They've gone on a 16-6 run since then. Miami needing a quick bucket right here. Wade and O'Neal comes into a two-point lead. And the Detroit Pistons are headed back to the NBA Finals. You know, afterwards in the locker room, I never heard nothing that quiet in my life. Um, you know, a couple guys was tearing up, crying, and uh, you know, it was heartfelt. You know, I really felt it, and uh, I didn't want to see that look on my teammates' face ever again. 
A year ago, the Detroit Pistons had broken the hearts of the Heat by knocking them out in Game 7 of the Conference Finals. Since then, Detroit had grown even stronger, compiling the league's best record. And as the Heat prepared for the rematch, they couldn't help but hear all the doubters. Still feeling the sting of last year's defeat, Shaq and Wade were determined to beat the Pistons to the punch in Game 1. Wade gets oh, by the beautiful oh, move. Well, the good news, Miami wins Game 1 as they shot the Pistons here at the Palace. Miami had taken away the home court advantage, and now the Pistons would need a win on the road to advance. But the Heat had come too far as a team to let that happen. They're in a 2-3 zone now. I see that smart. You go up high. Right, you go up high, you immediately have an open area. Wade finding an open area inside. Drive hard. Draws a foul. Oh! right up they're saying moving underneath on the shot and then the finish how about the finish a flip back with the english on the on the spin of the ball defeating detroit in six games miami had passed its biggest test and the rest of the world was learning what the heat already knew that they had become a true team and for the first time in this franchise of the 2006 NBA Finals, the Heat and the Mavericks, two teams that have never been here before, ready to have at it at the American Airlines Center in front of a packed house. We're attacking, we're attacking, we're attacking now, okay? Way down the court now, let's go. One, two, three, with a sizzling start, the Heat quickly silenced the Dallas crowd. Baseline, little jump shot, and in, Shaquille O'Neal. The Mavs had begun to unleash their offense, and in the closing seconds of the first half, their superstar would cap off the comeback. the finals all nine times. Though the Heat looked to get Shaq more involved, the Mavs plan was to make him disappear. O'Neal low left. They send a posse after Shaq. Wade to Shaq, low left against John. Here comes the double team. Shaq spins away from it. Pump fakes, travels. What Avery Johnson has done, taking the ball away from Shaquille O'Neal, has been absolutely brilliant because he has said, all right, Shaq is not going to shoot. Somebody else try to beat us. Was total frustration for Miami as the Mavs looked to run them right out of the finals. Almost lost the rebound, but around Wade, he slapped it back to bounce to Devin Harris. Off to the races, Harris finds Stackhouse, flicks it down. Oh, yeah. Big two-headed flush. Oh, can't hear what's the rim. And the Mavericks have a commanding two games to nothing lead as they totally embarrass the Heat here in Dallas. They're going to make it a series tonight. And true to their word, Miami looked like a different team at the start of Game 3. Shaq inside, slams it home! The Heat controlled both ends of the floor and finally captured the momentum. D. Wade with a finger roll. When they lead at the half, they are a perfect 11-0, trying to make it 12 tonight. Dallas quickly erased Miami's lead. Dirk steps into a three, looks good, and it is. Up by 13 with six and a half minutes left, the Mavs appeared firmly in command. Underneath Harris, looks the hook, good off the glass. Dallas is being the heat of life. Timeout Miami. Look at the clock. He like this is game through the final four. We're at home. We're down 13 points. And he's like, what's going on? I don't know about you, but this is just absolutely shocking in Dallas. It is just embarrassing by him. 
With his team on the brink of disaster, Dwayne Wade began to lead them back. Wade trying to find an open accident. 32 for Wade, but his team still down by 11. Wade drives left baseline, and he got to the rim and able to score with a foul on Dallas. Dwayne Wade breathes life back into the Miami car. Wade dribbles to the free throw line, the jump shot, and he got it. Don't count Miami out yet. They have a chance. Long as Dwayne's out there attacking the rim. Time winding down, they would have a chance to take the lead. Williams feeds it to Peyton off to the right. Peyton, step around with two on the clock. Peyton, Peyton shot. Go! Peyton, with nine seconds left on the court. His only field goal, and Miami leads by two. GP, the Miami Heat have climbed the mountain. Still, Dallas would have one last chance to thwart Miami's epic comeback. The alley -oop tipped up in the air, and Miami has done the incredible! They have won this ball game on an unbelievable fourth quarter by Wayne Wade! And the Miami Heat right back in the NBA Finals. Dwayne just took us was one of those special games where you just get to sit back and watch him. You know, I heard a lot of people talking about he don't have a jump shot. I bet they believe he got one now. <laughs> Incredible. Just the heart that he has. He just rises to the occasion. Both teams knew the importance of game four, but Dwayne Wade made sure the Heat would strike first. Yeah. Wade attacks to the basket, laid it up and got fouled. Once he hits that, that one bucket, then he turns it to flash. Wade crosses over Harris, left in the lane, mid-range jumper, good. Backing in, Wade spins baseline, up off the glass and in. All Dwayne Wade, all the time. Wade bursting into action, off the glass and in. What a finisher. Because he has a, a certain swag, a certain confidence about his ability in big games. He is feeling it, 5 of 7 now from the field. The Miami Heat have evened up this series. Some performance by Miami tonight in a must-win situation. We're live at American Airlines Arena for Game 5. Heat and Mavs. And when the young Mavericks got off to a shaky start, Miami was off and running. Down court to Lane. He's got the two-hand jam. It's Howard down the lane, shooting it up, banked it in, and threw the foul. The Dallas Mavericks have an eight-point lead. After struggling early, Dwayne Wade would take over once again. It's been a long time since he knocked down a field goal. It's just 4 of 15, but we're approaching Dwayne Wade time. Wade at the elbow, the jump shot. Wade got another one. Miami now down by four inside a minute here in the third. High point left side, Dwayne Wade. Across the floor. Posey, three ball. Posey got it from downtown. Posey, the Heat on a 7 0 run to close out this period. And Miami trails by one after three. The fourth quarter is winning time. You know, it's the time where your, your focus got to be at its best. Driving right side. Wade put it up and got it and fouled. Oh my! Flash is amazing! Dwayne Wade using an O'Neal kick. Foul line jumper. Good! Wade scored the last nine for Miami. Miami by two with a minute left to go in the game. We'll put it in their All-Stars hands. Against Haslam. Spins. Leans in a tough shot. Got it. Nowitzki. 91 apiece with 45 seconds left. Right side Nowitzki trying to drive Nowitzki. Back door. Dan Pierre. Beautiful play. Gives the Mavericks a two-point lead. With 10.1 left. In the hands of Dwayne Wade. Wade looking. Pulls up. Banks it in. Tie game. Overtime. With control of the series up for grabs, Dirk Nowitzki was determined to seize it. Dirk Nowitzki got the Mavericks a one-point lead. 9.1 seconds remaining. And Wade. Take it. Over. Six left. Wade. Drive right side. Wade. Three seconds. 
seconds. Ray up with it, and he got fouled, and he'll go to the line with 1.9 left. The tension is palpable here in the arena. Wade to tie it up. And he does. Main thing right now, the pressure is on Dwayne Wade to make the foul shot. Wade with 42. He leads. 1.9 left. Dallas has to end round now. They gotta go the length of the court. Harris hooks it up for the win. Oh, no good. And Miami wins again to take a 3-2 lead. The NBA season could come to an end tonight. The Miami Heat win and their champions. The Dallas Mavericks submerge victorious and will have a game seven. But just like the first two games, the Mavs were in high gear as they built an early lead. This was a different Heat team than the one that had left Dallas a week ago. And this time, they answered the Mavs' run with one of their own. Behind the back, the zone. Oh! And a monster slam by Zone! <laughs> Miami hold off the surging Mavericks. Dwayne Wade stops. He's on right corner. Mosey retreats. Good! James Mosey! A cold one and three out of the right corner. The Heat need a basket this possession here. Wade will pop out. Daniels will take him off the top. Daniels got some height. Those long arms on him. Spins inside. Step back. Wade the jumper. Got it in. Dwayne Wade. Nine point one remaining. Dallas can tie it with a three pointer. For the Heat, it had come down to one final play. One more test before they could earn the right to be called champions. Terry, eight seconds. Terry, high right side, trying to turn the corner. Terry puts it up. Won't go. Way to hold on. And the Miami Heat are champions of the basketball world. the heart of an extraordinary team, and I do mean team. Congratulations, 2006 MVP, Dwayne Wade. Unbelievable feeling that's been a world champion, that you did it when everyone doubted you. I was just screaming. Congratulations, Miami Heat, 2006 NBA champion. We got our parade set up in Miami. It's gonna be the biggest parade ever. On this game, all of all, we better get down. Well, one of the many revelations of these Olympics, beyond having a, a sudden interest in badminton and two people diving simultaneously into a pool, why, why, where did that come from? I don't exactly. know. Uh, is that, oh yeah, Dwayne Wade is one of the best basketball players in the world. Injury and his own team's decline have kind of put him into the shadows of LeBron and Kobe, but his play in Beijing is bringing him back into the light. George Smith has more from the Olympic Games. It was a frustrating road to recovery for Dwayne Wade, who missed the last 21 games of the regular season and was forced to stay off of his left knee for two months. I had to wait and I had to listen. I had to do what athletes don't do. <laughs> and that's listen to, to be win, and I, I had to do that. But his patience and hard work are paying off. Wade is Team USA's leading scorer, coming off the bench, averaging 18 points and three steals per game. It's the best basketball I've seen him play since the finals. 
Um, I mean, he's unbelievable. He's doing everything, getting to the line, making outside shots. He's defending. He's rebounding. I think shutting it down for the rest of the season was the best decision that he's made because now you see the results of him being 100%. Bringing a guy that, that averages 25 points a game coming off the bench, I mean, I mean, no one, no one has that on in this tournament besides us. So I mean, my teammates are giving me confidence. They, every time I do something, they get up, they cheer, they, they're excited, and that makes me you want to do it more. That makes me play even better. I might play 15 minutes. I might feel like I play 40 some minutes because that's how hard we're playing. Before the games began, Wade said he told Coach K he would not try to be on the team if he wasn't healthy. He said he didn't want to hurt the team or jeopardize the rest of his career. So far, so good. And Wade said, "Quote." I can play a lot better. In Beijing, George Smith, ESPN. Digit lead over Miami. Wade peeks it all the way and throws it down. And Dwayne Wade, it was like everyone else was stuck in the mud. Slow motion. Was impressive. Outlaw guarding Wade. Took it right at all. Oh. Dwayne Wade applying some non zero. Never seen Dwayne Wade throw one down this hard. This is just. Oh, God. Three Blazers 
in the vicinity. Oh, he, took, he took it to the spot. He made the trade, Phillips, Denver, for Allen Iverson to the big part of it was money. Oh, away. Freddie Moore, he's had a couple here in the second period. I gotta know where am I gonna send them? Where's the help coming from? And the help has to communicate. Stop. A poor job of sending them up. An even poorer job. Marvin Brown's help allowing Wayne Wade to spin and split. The matchup right here for the Heat. Thomas, yes, Wade. Wade with a steal. The two. Wade puts it up for the win. Yeah, baby. He did it. He did it. Seven at Phillips Arena between the Atlanta Hawks and Miami Heat. Each game decided by double figures in this series. Who would the final blowout belong to? Well, there was no indication early on. They went back and forth. Dwayne Wade, the cup soft floaters go for him. Nice ball movement now. And it's Mr. Johnson just so you understand. 27 points in the ball game for him. 68 to 52. This thing got out of hand. Look at the pass there from Vinny. Up fake, that's old school, and that's pretty basketball. Gets it to go, Johnson, jab, step, three ball, uh, get the heat. They throw by as many as 29 in the fourth quarter. Solomon Jones adding to the troubles. Time to celebrate in ATL. The Hawks have the conference in my bombs for the first time in 10 years. 30th in the league, shooting 69% from the free throw line. Here's the James. Looking for contact from Jermaine O'Neal, got a piece of it. Wade, oh, Wade, big shot! Yes! Oh, wow! Wade, Wade going right at Anderson Parajal. Well, this is a reversal of fortune. First, LeBron James tries to test Jermaine O'Neal and gets it sent back. And Dwayne Wade right at the body of Anderson Parajal. to put the ball on the floor. They're shooting bonus right now. We'll see how Lawrence Frank plays this. If they're going to switch everything or if they're going to stay with Wade and double team or make it be a pass. We're still not certain who got that tip in, but here are uh, the Heat looking for the win. Wade! not postpone it or David no. Lee making his way to the rim. The West up by two. Please welcome some of the players recently named to the 2010-2012 USA Basketball Men's National Team. For the Miami Heat, Dwayne Wade. Wade is tight. Here's Wade with the lead to power. And they turn it over. Here's Wade for James. Here's Rondo laying it up for Wade Wade. The steal by Wade. Took it out of the hands of Williams and hammers it down. Takes the team foul situation, so that puts Wade at the line. So the East 
has taken a one point lead with 12 and 7 tenths seconds to go in this fourth quarter. The West does have a full and 220s remaining. Plenty of time here for George Carl to draw up something. Down by two. Well, what a night and what a finish. We have the commissioner of the NBA, David Stern, here, and we have a trophy for the MVP and to do the honors, the commissioner. Sturdy. Thank you, North Texas, for this spectacular hosting of our All-Star Game. The world's greatest athletes to put on some show tonight. And amongst all of these MVPs to us, there can only be one. And tonight, that's Dwayne Wade, who scored 28 points and had 11 rebounds. Congratulations, Dwayne Wade. to South Beach and um, join the Miami Heat. It's going to give me the best opportunity to, to win and to win for multiple years. Um, and not only just to win in a regular season or just to win um, five games in a row or three games in a row. Um, I want to be able to win championships and I feel like I can compete down there. To say it was always in my plans, I, I can't say it was always in my plans because I never thought it was possible. Um, but the things that the, the Miami Heat franchise has done to be able to free up cap space and to be able to put themselves in a position this summer to have all three of us, um, you know, it was hard to turn down. I mean, you know, those are two great players, two of the greatest players that we have in this game today. And, um, you know, you add me, um, we're going to be a really good team. Wade's house, LeBron's kingdom, and Bosch's pit, baby.
is a dream come true. You always want to put yourself in the best position possible to be able to, to win. You know, have an opportunity to team up with arguably the best trio to ever play the game of basketball. Uh, it's amazing. It feels right. It feels right. And, uh, to be in this position, to wear this heat uniform um, every single night, uh, we're gonna make the world know. Not just this league. We're gonna work. The, we're gonna make the world know that the heat is back. Let's get it done, man. <laughs> Let's get this thing done. LeBron James, here he comes, hitting ahead for Wade. There he goes. Oh! The house of highlights. You think these guys like passing the ball to each other? Wow. Earlier was LeBron to D. Wade. Wade just gave the compliment back to LeBron. Double up by Dwayne Wade. Here he goes. from St. Vincent, St. Mary High School, number six, LeBron James. At seven and ten, here's LeBron to the scores table. The question is, would he go through the usual pregame routine involving the slapping of the powder over at the table? The fans here in Cleveland, as you can hear, have not necessarily appreciated. Oh, my God. 
Welcome to Post Game. Stuart Scott, Mike Wilbon, John Perry, Hall of Famer, five-time champion, Urban Magic Johnson. The Miami Heat came into this game, guys, undefeated at home in the postseason. But the Mavericks had won five straight on the road, which means something had to give and break. We'll see what it was. Let's take a look. Here we go. Mavericks up one at the break. Third quarter, early third, Mavericks building the lead. Marin in transition finds Deshaun Stevenson all by himself. Carries the three. Mavericks up 51 to 43. Later third, I'd, I wouldn't leave LeBron open like that. Drifting, drifting. Wilbon, he had all the time in the world. He did hit a wild story. Heat down 53 51. Closing seconds of the third. Check out LeBron James. Take another look at this. Really? Uh, that turned the game. That turned it. Later, fourth heat up five. D-Wade, crossover. Get some of that. Late in the game, LeBron James. JB, you said LeBron. About two minutes before this happened, you said it's about to be LeBron time. Well, I think it was more Dwayne Wade, but this guy obviously capable at any time. Heat up ten, clear eyes, full heart. Can't lose. Wade, the Allen, LeBron freaks the oop. Wow, this all went down. Dirk and company. LeBron and company. Ron, Ron, get this team ready. After each and every one of these games, you ain't playing hard enough. If you're not exhausted tonight, after playing this game, you didn't play hard enough, man. Early fourth quarter, but when they're playing like this, you figure there's no way that he can lose, right, JB? Well, well when it's 88-73 with 7:13 to play, Magic said, "Start the plane." That's right. That shot right there was a good night, gentlemen. Let's go home. We're up 2-0. See you in Dallas. Except the Dallas Mavericks didn't want to cooperate. Dirk, jumper. Maybe you might want to guard him. I'm just saying. And then Dirk. Remember, they were down 15, right? Dirk with the layup to tie the game with 57 seconds left. With one hand. Haslam is grabbing him to locate him, <laughs> but he still gets caught in a great screen by Tyson Chandler. Bang! They are up three with Mario Chalmers. Remember, he did it in college. Mario from the corner. Oh, yeah. That ties the game at 93. So Dallas Mavericks, 24 seconds left, about the time of the shot clock. Who do you go to, JB? Ryan Cardinal. No, it's Dirk Nowitzki. What a shocker, and what does he what score with? What a move, the and left, the left, and the left, the 10 in hand. hand. Dirk Nowitzki, 24 points and 10 of 22 shooting. One last chance for the Heat. D-Wave's three is off the mark, and the Miami Heat, a team that was up 88 to 73, Mavericks down and they come back and they win it. This is American Airlines Center in Dallas. LeBron with a pregame message for the Miami Heat. Sounded a lot like the pregame message he had before game two. You know, we're too desperate. I think that we know we got our best when we get desperate team. And that's what it's about tonight. Playing desperate from the first from the first tip, man. Mavs down five and recess. Third quarter, heat up 11. D-Wade with the steal. We're fine when they're running like this. Can anybody defend? No. And then Dirk ready to shoot Jack. And then Dirk working on Dwayne Wade. Magic, how can you defend that? You can't. He just looks at Dwayne Wade and says, Oh, you too little. I'm just trying. <laughs> house in the house. Yes. <laughs> Mavs on a 17-3 run. They're up 59-58. We go to the fourth quarter. We're tied at 84 with just over two minutes to play. Whose hands do you put the ball in? Hold on. Dwayne Wade, period. Well, they didn't double him there, but most of those possessions in the last seven minutes, they doubled Dwayne Wade, but he made him pay for it with a couple of passes. He up two, Dirk Nowitzki. It, it just gets routine. That ties it at 86. Under a minute to play. LeBron kicks it to Chris Bosh. Biggest shot of his life, Magic. Oh, no question about it. And you're at home. You're from Dallas, and they needed that. And he broke the tie right there. Next team possession. Shot clock winding down. Mavs played great defense on this, didn't they? Absolutely. You run off LeBron James the three. Timeout there. I thought they might go on the break. They had Jason Terry out for timeout. Set up this play here with Adonis has Just tremendous defense on Dirk Nowitzki. Doesn't get it. And then he takes it. He got a rally, and again, they tie a series. Dirk Nowitzki playing with the fever. And you knew he was feeling sick. JB, what's it like when you're playing with the fever? I don't know, but I love to feel like him. <laughs> I'm wondering if he's sick or not. LeBron struggled. Four points in one of five shooting in the first half, but later in the third, D-Wade with a steal of LeBron. That puts the heat up one. Later in the third, Dirk on the bridge. LeBron with the alley. D-Wade freaking the hoop. Wilbon, you saw this play coming. You can see it. I mean, this is 
one of the time, few times though, they hooked up tonight, but they made a count. Dallas had to regroup. Just over five minutes to play. Jason Terry with the lay-in. Mavs take the lead up one. JB, you said outside shot wasn't working. Well, again, you let him go isolation. You gotta come take the ball in his hands. Toby, is that what we always talk about? Dirk Nowitzki should not be the guy taking that shot. He cut it to 84, 83, nine seconds left after two free throws by Jason Terry. Making a three-point Mavs lead. 6.7 seconds left on the inbounds. Wade loses the ball, gets it to Mike Miller. Air balls a three-pointer. Ball game. Mavs win the game, 86 to 83. The NBA Finals tied at two. And LeBron James was the focus going into this game because of a head scratching game last time in game four, especially the fourth quarter. LeBron James may have had the quietest triple double in the history of important big time playoff basketball. The Heat facing a healthy Dirk for game five. Dirk had a fever game four. Mavs up early, late first quarter, scary sight for Miami. D Wade collides with Brian Cardinal. Watch it again. Dwayne favoring his left hip. Goes to the locker room. He can stay there for a while. Mavs up five. They led by as many as nine in the third. With 433 in the third, Wade comes back. Backs down Jason Kidd. Dave. We know you're going to the Hall of Fame, but like you just can't come to that kid anymore. Heat down five after three. Fourth quarter. They turn it over. They could not seem to close them out, JB. It was difficult to get the ball to Dirk. Credit the Miami Heat defense. And here again, when they get a turnover, it usually turns into a layup. The assist goes, gives LeBron that triple double. Next seat possession. D Wade finds Haslam. Another look, Magic. That's one of those Magic Johnson passes. Well, a beautiful pass, but also a great cut by Haslam after uh, they knew they were going to double team Wade. Heat take a one point lead. And they get at me, son. D Wade, south side, Chicago. Stand up. The pull up three. That puts the Heat up four. But the Mavs come right back, as they always seem to do in the fourth quarter. Dirk finds Jason Terry. Jet, holler! Dirk, he's about to tell Chris Bosh, peace out. Under 40 seconds left, Mavs up four. Shot clock winding down. How big was Jason Terry, Magic? Oh, uh, he was very big. And not only with his three-point shooting, and, and he was driving, penetrating, and kicking to the open man, too, as well. Jason Terry, pull up, done, and done. Out of the hanger, on the one way, 21 points. As the Miami Heat lose consecutive playoff games for the first time, there were 12 NBA franchises that had not won an NBA championship. There are now 11. Got some guys, the Heat were at home, they had a chance. Did they have a chance? Yeah. More than a chance. And then they got hit by the Dallas Mavericks. All upside there. Let's take a look at how it went down. Game six from here in Miami. LeBron, D-Wade trying to force the game. Jason Terry picking up the slack. In transition, JT was fierce. And Dirk finally stop it. Seven feet. You can shoot threes like that. Eight of 15 in the second half. Just over six minutes to play. Dirk Nowitzki. Clear eyes. Full heart. Can't lose. Woo. It's fun to watch. Under three to play. Did we mention he was 1 of 12 shooting in the first half? That's good. That's just filthy. Yeah, that's why he was the MVP of this series. Mariano Rivera. <laughs> Ten points <laughs> out in the fourth quarter. Mavs up 12, but just over 30 seconds to play. Roman, who else? Why not the ice? Let it finish. Dirk going left. Seems like the way we started the playoffs, wasn't it? Dirk was Buck. And Buck is when internal punishment meets physical expression. Ball game. The Dallas Mavericks win the NBA championship. Mark Cuban and the Dallas Bitch love it. Wade LeBron in the heat. They walk off in defeat. Final score 105 95. When the Dallas Mavericks beat the Miami Heat in the 2011 NBA Finals, it marked a stunning collapse for a team that began the season with lofty expectations of a championship. Losing the finals in 2011 was, it was tough to be on the losing side. It was hurtful, it was painful, it was embarrassing. I remember just looking around, this is not how it's supposed to be. It's going to be a long, painful summer before they get a chance to respond. And no one took more heat after the loss than LeBron James. Me not playing to my abilities and me not making enough plays to help our team win that series. At the time, it was the worst thing that ever happened to me. Steve.
still feeling the sting of falling short in the finals, the Heat opened training camp intent on redemption. are here in Oklahoma City and they're painting this town blue. It's the biggest sporting event OKC has ever seen and fans are rallying behind their thunder. Entering the finals, the Heat were being cast as the underdogs, but they had played that role before. People have been throwing dirt on us for two years, so our guys, they had toughened it up from just all the negative talk over all the years hearing they couldn't do this, they couldn't do that, they weren't good fourth quarter players. They just, they got like steel. So let's seize this moment, let's seize every opportunity, man. Don't get too high, don't get too low. We stick together no matter what, all right? Let's go, man. Let's go. Heat on three. Let's go, man. One, two, three. It would be a showdown between two of the game's elite, the three-time scoring champ against the three-time MVP. What a matchup, the two best teams led by arguably the two best players on the planet. Let's go to work! Right there! But in a series loaded with star power, it was Miami's supporting cast that would set the tone early in game one. Leads into a long three, Battier from downtown! As the third quarter began, James would continue to pour it on. Only to see the Thunder come storming right back. Westbrook splits left hand, he cuts it in, and a foul! As OKC turned up the pressure, the Heat looked nothing like the confident team that entered the final, and neither superstar could find any answers. Dumps it inside to James, lost the ball! It's scooped up by Cephalosian! Wade into the paint, Wade turns the ball over. Oh, his nightmare continues. He is not going to be happy. Durant to the basket, lays it in! What a long the Thunder in a battle royale come from 13 back to defeat the Heat. They'll take the one game to not leave. While Thunder fans were in a frenzy outside the arena, inside, a lone figure was quietly honing his game. And in those solitary hours before the tip-off, Dwayne Wade contemplated what went wrong in game one. You know, I think we was nervous, yes. I think for the first time, some guys had a little nervous and a little butterflies in their stomach. 
but I would imagine he's feeling a little pressure. I can understand why he's out there early getting up shots, trying to maybe find whatever he thinks he's missing. World Warriors mentality, man. We need it. Gotta have it. He was on three. One, two, three. Peace. With the game one disappointment still fresh in his mind, Wade would show from the start that he had found what was missing. Wade with a right hand jam, he went right around Duran. Westbrook dishes it off, Perkins fumbled it. Loose ball, Wade's got him. Oh, I can't believe how the Heat have let this game disappear on them. Three on two, Duran drives to James, up and under. LeBron James, he's got 30. Wade comes left side. Wade right down the middle. Bounce pass. Oh, shams it down with two hands. Oh, baby. With 53 seconds left. Miami 98, Thunder 91. Beating pressure. Lost the ball in the front court. Okay, see the steal. Durant has it. Durant puts up a three. I just kept looking up at the clock. After four straight finals losses dating back to last year, this would be the Heat's defining moment. Could they make a stand when it mattered most? Now we are built to get this stop right now. We are built to get this one. How important is it? Fisher giving the ball. Wild space on left to Durant. Durant on the drive. Shot short. Westbrook lost it. James has it. Miami a 196 victory. Ending Oklahoma City their first loss at home in this postseason. And the series is tied. Right now, the heat of all the momentum. They stole home court advantage. And they look to put it to the test in the first of three games here at American Airlines Arena. Our fans have been waiting for this moment since last season. We look forward to the little advantage that we can get by playing here home tonight. And there was nothing disappointing about Miami's start. Roaring out of the gate, they electrified the home fans. Rio in the way, two-hand jam way. Another aggressive hot start for the Heat. Wade right out on the right side, double team. Bounce pass, Bosch down the gut again with another jam. Oh, that is beautiful ball movement. The struggle for control of this pivotal contest turned game three into a bruising battle. Caught inside by Ibaka. Man, this head knock is going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Swatted away by Miller. Playing some possessive, passionate basketball. Oh, man. He is getting manhandled inside, but he's a man, let me tell you. And just before break, Miami made a late move to take the lead into the locker room. On the run out, it's Wade for James. Got to lead Wade, two-hander inside. On a great steal by Chalmers, and Miami will lead by one at the half. But following the intermission, the Heat watched helplessly as the Thunder stormed back into the lead. Down the lane, Dirt! Oh, the okie doke and Westbrook spins in the right hand. Cephalos on the loose ball. Down the lane, to the rim, throws it up and missed it. Durant to follow. Two-hand rim rocking, slam dunk. 10-2 run for the Thunder. With the one-two punch of Wade and James bringing them all the way back from a 10-point deficit. Wade in the corner. For three, LeBron, bang, from downtown, James hits the tray. Ending the third period on a 13-2 run, the Heat had recaptured the lead. The dire circumstances facing the Thunder made them play with a desperation that knocked the Heat on their heels. Back to the Cephalosha and a jam! One point game, 86-85 with a minute 30 left. The Heat weren't about to let it go, and in the closing moments, their valiant defense would make a series of crucial stops to secure the victory. Westbrook for three. Off the mark. That will do it. Miami to a hard fought 91-85 victory. The competition at its highest level. That's what it's all about. Our crowd was amazing. We got one. You know, next big game is two.
Tuesday, so we gotta protect, protect home once again. Welcome to the American Airlines Arena in Miami, where the Thunder look to even the NBA Finals at two victories apiece tonight in Game 4. Last year, the Miami Heat became the first team since the introduction of the 2-3-2 format to take a 2-1 series lead and not go on to win the championship. They're looking to make sure history doesn't repeat itself. But those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. And inexplicably, the Heat found themselves in a huge hole. Westbrook, Durant, the finish. Oklahoma City has come out on fire and they lead by nine. 18 foot rainbow jumper comes out with a pot of gold at the bottom of it, baby. The Thunder built the lead as large as 17. As the contest tightened in the second quarter, each team leaned heavily on their most talented players. Wade has it now with a three in the air. Go! The Heat pull even at 35. And after closing the gap at the break, another unheralded member of the Heat would take center stage as the second half unfolds. Chalmers, right down the gut, runner real, got a soft roll, and we're tied at 52. The tenacious Thunder were not ready or willing to concede. On the baseline, away from James, double pumps, his bank shot of you. Let's go! Back and forth, third quarter, already nine lead changes in this period. Change four always such a momentum changer in a series that's two to one. James has it now, James against Durant. LeBron fires good on the right way. 20 points for LeBron James. Russell Westbrook, who continued to carve up the Miami defense with a historic finals outburst. Oh, and a play from Russell Westbrook, and it's a one-point game. Russell Westbrook almost beat us by himself. 37 total in 38 minutes. Then, with the game hanging in the balance, it appeared that an unmitigated disaster had struck Miami. LeBron is cramping up. I think Looks you're right. He is down on the deck. The timing could not be any worse. It's amazing that he was able to, to show such strength and, and such character. He used it as a fuel. He had been rubbing both his left and right quads with ice. And a huge ovation. As he sends a check back in, he was still working a bit as he went to the scorer's table. He did it on the court. Five on the shot clock. James for three. Bang! Oh my! Oh. Take that crib! Oh, and he's limping back. LeBron's heroics had given the Heat the lead, but now his teammates would have to finish matters without him. In the most dramatic moment of Game 4, they turned once more to Mario Chalmers, who would deliver the decisive dagger. Going to drive inside, to the rim, layup, and got it, Mario Chalmers! What a running layup, Miami now by 5, and the Miami Heat win Game 4, 104-98, and lead three games to one in the NBA Finals! That was a tough layup you made. Ooh. So, ooh, well, you look like me on that play. It would, bro. Well, Mario has um, a thing called heart. As he say on his his arm, Mr. Clutch. <laughs> that clutch gene, you gotta be born with it. Now he has it. Through all their ups and downs, James and Wade remained united, and now found themselves on the brink of their first championship together. Welcome to Game Five of the NBA Finals. Stars will share an unforgettable championship moment after entering the league together nine years ago. Wait, what's the task tonight? Win it. Win it. This is one of the biggest nights in LeBron James' career. After two disappointing trips to the finals, can he lead his team to a title and forever be known as a champion? It's the last time I'm looking at all y'all in your eyes. Y'all not champions. That's why I'm getting a good look. The last time I looked at y'all in your eyes. With their goal of a championship now within their grasp, Bosch, James, and Wade made it clear from the start that they were determined to seize it. Westbrook has it pulled away. Chalmers, good defense. And it looked away. A difficult catch. Oh, he put it off the glass. Well, that's not a bad way to start if you're Miami. Any question about what kind of game LeBron James is going to play after
after that cramping in game four have been answered. He's going to the rim, folks. Got him to go and foul. No problem on the line. How good is LeBron James? Wow. Miami on a 10 2 run. Play, play, play. He's got the foot speed advantage on Perkins. Watch the drive. If they don't get their defense together, it's going to be a long night. Yeah, when we playing the way that we envision, you know, it's, it's what they call poetry motion. It happens fast. And when it's all clicking together, it's special. Despite Miami's early onslaught, the Thunder looked to send a message that they were not ready to go home for the summer. More like the rat, a step. Elevated! Oh, he dumps down a vicious right hand! I know I've been around a long time, but that was impressive. It's 31-26, it's under with the five. High left side, LeBron James. Against Hardy, one-on-one, -on -one. he'll go right to the rack with it. Up and in! Right off the window! The different attacking style that he's had in these fires as opposed to last year. And as the Heat built their lead late in the first half, they were relying on more than just their stars. Miller for three. Bang! Mike Miller from downtown! And the Heat lead by 15! In the middle, LeBron down the gut. Double clutch! Got it off the and Miami has a 19-point lead. What an offensive explosion here in the third quarter. And now the Thunder to see this one slip away. Loose far away! Goes to the Westbrook! The journey they had begun together two years earlier had finally reached its ultimate destination. LeBron James with a triple double. Most important game in his career. LeBron James will come out of the game to the roar of the crowd. We talked about that moment so many times. When the clock is winding down and you know you got the game in hand, it's about to be a celebration. I turned around and I looked at him and I just seen the smile on his face. He looked like a good kid at that moment. Let the coronation begin! LeBron James has helped down Miami as champion of the basketball world. There'll be another parade down beautiful Prince Game Boulevard! Give it everything you've been through. When the clock hits triple zero, What's the first thing that ran through your mind? It's about damn time. It's about damn time. LeBron James is the unanimous choice for the MVP.